Greetings and welcome, Life Gang. This is your host, Lamont Tyson. And today I'm going to do a rant on African Americans, African American culture, and us doing business with each other. But first, I want to just give a shout out to that young man in Missouri that stood up for a great cause. If you haven't been paying attention to the news, um, a swastika was painted on some property in Missouri University, painted with poop. And this young man made his own little protest, got the football team involved. They said they weren't going to play. Next game would have made the college about a million dollars through his protests and his actions and getting people involved. The president and the chancellor have resigned. Way to go, young man. Way to call to action. But having said that, let's think about what made the action. You know, he got on his social media campaign. He did all those things. But what, really, what do you really think made them people move? The fact that they was about to lose some money. So guys, I just want you to always understand probably behind 90% of the things that go on in this world, not just in this country. It's about money. And that brings me to the other points of what's going on in the African American community. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you what that young man did in Missouri is extremely commendable. But in the African American community, we've got to do some things to help ourselves as well. My excuse always for African Americans is that we're behind in educational attainment, and we are. But because of entertainment, social media, that's starting to become less and less of an excuse. And let's just face it, in America, free market capitalism, you don't got to have a whole lot of education to be doing well. Which brings me to my next point. A lot of people don't understand what professional African Americans go through in dealing with African Americans, then you have to deal with Anglo Saxon Americans till you've gotten out here and gotten in the world and started a business on your own. And that's what me and my wife faced pretty hard. You know, it was like we get African Americans that want to come to our business, want the homeboy hook up but then don't want to follow the rules, and when we hold their feet to the fire, they ready to try to throw us under the bus and say that we ain't doing something right. Then it got to the point where they wouldn't even support us because they thought we might be driving Cadillacs or something like that, but they would go down the street and support the Anglo-Saxon. Who is driving the Cadillac? What's up with that? Liberate your minds, African Americans. Start thinking. Just because someone... A black person is now a professional or a doctor or whatever. Doesn't mean that they don't understand what you're going through. It doesn't mean that um, they're forgetting where they're coming from. But guys, this is Anglo-Saxon America and has been for the, the inception of the country. They just learned to adapt to what society presents to them right now. You know, all this mess of calling um, African Americans that have become Republicans, Uncle Toms, and all that. You know, I understand where the mindset is coming from, but guys, have you ever thought to think about what it was that they might have had to go through in dealing with their own culture? I'm here to tell you, we don't do ourselves any favors. Look at reality TV and the way we behave on reality TV. Now, I'm not saying that that's their fault, because obviously, (laughs) you're looking at it, it's paying them money to behave in a manner that is definitely not conducive to uplifting us as a race. So, my rant today to you is, think about the way you behave. Think about how you do business and who you do business with. And if you see someone that needs some help, ask them how you can help them. And you might learn a good story that might get you inspired to do better as well. So again, just a quick rant. Shout out to that kid in Missouri. You did a great thing. And let's hope that we can ride this up, this uplifting thing that you've done for another couple of weeks. And see if we can get more people doing things that you did. Uh, don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe. Go out there and get yourself a life game.